thought we'd start with uh, Matthew Brown and just uh, talk about uh, the ride today. Yeah, uh, I, I couldn't have been happier with that horse. Uh, I, I really felt like it was a tough course. Uh, he started really well, but then I had sort of a balky ride to the Trocaner, which was pretty early on in the course. And I realized that I just didn't really finish my turn to it. And there's there's other jumps off to the left side that I think that he was sort of zeroing in on. And so he sort of zeroed in on it at the last minute and added a step and sort of veered off to the left. So I had my heart in my throat there for a second. Uh, but it was certainly a good wake up call uh, because I, I didn't want to do that later on in the course. Um, and and so I did get my stick out a couple of times in the course, uh, which I normally don't do with him because he's normally taking off with me. Uh, and so, uh, but, so he was quite strong, uh, but I thought that he was really on it after that. I think it was really my mistake that he had that bulky moment. Uh, because the rest of the course, I felt like he he really was quick and on his toes and made up for some other striding, little striding mistakes that I that I had, and uh, I just was very happy with him. It was hard work, I and mean, the whole way around, it was it was hard work. I think he had put together a really good test of the horses, so I, I was just really happy. James, eighth to second. You were going, you were moving on. He was obviously a thoroughbred. Yeah, yeah, that was an uh, <laughs> x-ray source, yeah. So, um, you know, I think you don't come all the way here from California. Um, yeah, not, not to hack around, right? So, was, yeah. It was, uh, it was, well, I knew the course, I think, was going to be hard to make the time from when I wheeled it. So that's sort of nice when you're on the horse. It's as fast as he is, for sure. Yeah. That was the and so, how many events have you done with him? He's not done a lot. I sort of, I sort of did a few um, a couple of years ago, and then, um, and then I handed him over to a student of mine who, who did, you know, some intermediates, and then um, I sort of a few of my older horses maybe went down, so so I took him back, and uh, yeah, so now I'm back on him. He's, uh, it's a sort of, he's been a bit inconsistent. He's always been a good jumper, but the flat work sort of. Um, been a bit tough at advanced, you know, the changes sort of wound him up quite a bit. And, um, this show was nice because I had a lot of time to work in before the dressage so I could have him a bit more relaxed. But other horse trails sometimes, but, you know, you don't have as much time as you do here, so it's hard to put the work into him to have him relaxed. So it's nice to know that I can come, come to a bigger show and have time and he'll behave a bit better. James, after dressage, when you look at your score, do you head into the cross country round thinking, you know, you got to pick it up and go after it, or is it just kind of, you know, you want to survive the course and get through it safely? Um, well, I think with Mojo, that was, it's rare that he gets a score like that. Honestly, recently it's been horrible, so I was sad. Uh, I was like, hey, this might be the one time I can actually compete. So I didn't know what I was going to go first, I think, on him. And then, uh, yeah, but you, you know they're they're both green. The ones that had today were well, greenish, um, so I don't you know I don't want to scare yeah. scare the life out of them at the same time. Dad, did you get the ride you wanted? Because you said yesterday you were going to, you were going to go steady because of the weight coming up, but you weren't sure what she was going to give you. Yeah, she was awesome. Um, I couldn't have asked for a better go for it with her. Like right out of the box, I just kind of stayed in that same rhythm the whole way around the course and. Um, I feel very, very confident in on that airplane and heading overseas. She, um, I mean, the corners to corners and the waters, and um, I had a little bit of a dicey moment at the last water, um, and it was great because after that she jumped spectacular for the last five fences, and I thought um, a combination that was going to be the good, good test for her was at the end of the course with the like dinosaur to the egg. I know it was a very simple question, but for her, to be able to just jump in and relax and do four across instead of me fighting and coming against her. She jumped in and went across it like a hunter and then galloped down the hill. And um, it was a big test for me that she could come out and be rideable. Like I know I can kick her and you know make her go fast and make time and that's my job next month to go do that. My job today was to go have a steady good go and positive and she's in the barn chowing down and happy as can be. So yeah, now 
I got it. Chase these guys. Yeah. She was really good. Like, I didn't know what she was because she hasn't run since April. And but she's a little professional now. You know, she comes out and I still remember Buck always saying, just ride a short range and she'll be good. And you know, so I did. I literally came out of the box with my short range and legs on. And she was just like, he's taking missile to the jumps. And I, I honestly couldn't have asked for a better go. She's, she's a good girl. Any surprises out there? Something that, uh, that you didn't expect? No, I think everybody thought that it was going to ride pretty hard. Yeah. <laughs> or at least that was, that's what all of us yeah. were talking about back in the barn. Yeah. Uh, it did seem like time was going to be hard to make. Yeah, we. I knew that. Yeah, like when we had wheeled it yesterday. I mean, yeah, I was way off on my wheeling. I knew it was going to be tight, and I had my bets actually on James that he would be closest mm -hmm. because that little horse is just like my. Like he is fast, and um, James is such a great competitor, you know, an awesome rider. So he did a wonderful job on both his horses actually today. I thought, um, no, I mean, time here is always tight, always hard to get. I mean, last year only three. Of the kids got it and um, they were all on fast little horses that made it around and um, that's where Ian's great in his course designing you know he puts enough questions out there and gives you a couple break fences but at the same time if you're not on your lines and do all the drift there's no way you're gonna make time and that's what makes a great competition. Matt what about show jumping tomorrow? Uh, you know I'm trying to take it one day at a time uh, I'm really just excited to be sitting here with these guys um, you know, I, I have yet to compete in a CCI three-star myself or a four-star yet, so to be sitting with these guys who have the experience and uh, to feel like my horses are continue, continuing to step up, um, I'm going to bask in the moment and ride them the best I can tomorrow, but to be perfectly honest, it, it would take a lot uh, to go wrong tomorrow for me to feel like uh, the weekend wasn't a super success. So, I mean, they're both, they both seem pretty happy and leg, legs look good. Um, my happenstance horse pulled a shoe out on the cross country, but it got tucked back on. And so they both look good and should be ready to go tomorrow. And uh, I think uh, the show jumping course here is also, you know, these courses are always really tough. So I think that it will be also a really good test. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to go out and do it. And Mojo, how does he show jump? Um, he's yeah, he's um, yeah, he's normally he's normally pretty careful. He might have the odd pole down here and there, but um, I think they all do really. You know, uh, um, yeah, we'll see. You know, this was a lot for him yesterday, uh, today, and um, he felt quite tired, which is unusual for him. You know, I think you have to go so much faster at a CIC like this to make the time than a CCI. You know? Sprinting like that really felt a bit jelly legged at the end, so we'll see. Cool. Anything else? Yeah.